Hello and welcome. A quick look at the equations on the board will show that they are both homogeneous. In the first term of the first equation, the power of x is 2. In the second term, the power of x is 1 and the power of y is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. In the last term, the power of y is 2. So the first equation is homogeneous to the second degree. Now, when we come to the second equation, once more, in the first term, the power of x is 2. In the second term, the power of x is 1 and the power of y is 1 also. 1 plus 1 is 2. And in the third term, the power of y is 2. So this equation is also homogeneous to the second degree. So to solve these two equations simultaneously, what we do is to make a substitution. Let x be equal to y t. From the first equation, we have that 2 times x now becomes y t squared plus y t multiplied by y plus y squared is equal to 28. Simplifying this, we have 2y squared t squared plus y times y is y squared t plus y squared is equal to 28. Now we can factorize y squared and when we do that, we have that y squared into 2t squared plus t plus 1 is equal to 28. Applying the same substitution to equation 2, we have y t squared minus y t multiplied by y plus 2y squared is equal to 32. Opening these brackets, we have y squared t squared minus y squared t plus 2y squared is equal to 32. Once more, factorizing y squared out of this equation, we have y squared t squared minus t plus 2 is equal to 32. So with the substitution of x equal to y t, we have been able to change equation 1 into equation 3 and equation 2 into equation 4. Now, notice that if we divide equation 3 by equation 4, we will be able to get rid of the y squared and then go on to solve the resulting equation for values of t. So we have y squared into 2t squared plus t plus 1 divided by y squared into t squared minus t plus 2 is equal to 28 over 32. This takes care of that. Now 4 into 28 is 7 and 4 into 32 is 8. Now the next step is to cross multiply and simplify. So we have that 8 times this is 16t squared plus 8t plus 8 and it's equal to 7 times this. That is 7t squared minus 7t plus 14. Bringing all the terms over to the left hand side, we have 16t squared minus 7t squared plus 8t plus 7t plus 8 minus 14 is equal to 0. Now 16 minus 7 is 9t squared plus 8 plus 7 is plus 15t and 8 minus 14 is minus 6 and this is equal to 0. Now you can see that we can divide this equation through by 3 to give us 3t squared plus 5t 
minus 2 is equal to 0. We can factorize this quadratic equation. And to do that, we multiply this term by this term. And we have minus 6t squared. Now we ask ourselves the question, what are the factors of minus 6t squared that will add up to plus 5? And of course, they are going to be 6t and minus t. Because 6t times minus t is going to give us minus 6t squared. And 6t plus minus t is going to give us plus 5t. Now the next step is to replace this with these two. And when we do that, we have 3t squared plus 6t minus t minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we can divide these two by 3t. 3t squared divided by 3t. We have t. 60 divided by 3t. We have 2. We can divide these two by minus 1. Minus t divided by minus 1 is t. And minus 2 divided by minus 1 is 2. And this is equal to 0. So from this we have 3t minus 1 multiplied by t minus plus 2 is equal to 0. And of course from here we have that either 3t minus 1 is equal to 0. From where 3t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 1 over 3. Or t plus 2 is equal to 0. From where t is equal to minus 2. So now we have two values of t. We have that t is equal to 1 over 3 or minus 2. Now recall from equation 3 that y squared multiplied by 2t squared plus t plus 1 is equal to 28. Now having found the values of t to be 1 over 3 and minus 2, what we are going to do is to substitute these values of t into this equation, get the values of y, and with this equation, get the resulting values of x. So for t equal to 1 over 3, we have y squared into 2 times 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 plus 1 is equal to 28. We have y squared into 1 over 3 squared is 1 over 9. Multiplied by 2, we have 2 over 9. Plus, let us write this fraction as 3 over 9. And of course, let us write this fraction as 9 over 9. And this is still equal to 28. From here, we have y squared into, since they now all have the same denominator, we can simply add the numerators. So we have 2 plus 3, which is 5, plus 9, which is 14 over 9, is equal to 28. From here, we have that y squared is equal to 28 multiplied by 9 over 14. 14 into itself is 1 into 28, 2. 2 times 9 is 18. So we have that y squared is equal to 18. Taking square root of both sides, we have that y is equal to plus or minus root 18. This is equal to plus or minus square root of 9 times 2. This is equal to plus or minus 3 root 2. Because of course the square root of 9 is 3. So these are the two values of y. To find the resultant values of x, we have that x is equal to y times t. So x is equal to plus or minus 3 root 2. 
multiplied by t which in this case is 1 over 3 so we have that x is equal to plus or minus root 2 for the second value of t once more we have y squared into 2 t squared plus t plus 1 is equal to 28 now t is equal to minus 2 y squared into 2 times minus 2 squared plus minus 2 plus 1 is equal to 28 we have y squared minus 2 squared is 4 times 2 8 minus 2 plus 1 is equal to 28 y squared 8 minus 2 is 6 plus 1 7 equal to 28 dividing both sides by 7 we have that y squared is equal to 4 because 28 divided by 7 is 4 and of course we have that y is equal to plus or minus square root of 4 which is equal to plus or minus 2 for the resultant values of x we have that x is equal to y multiplied by t x is equal to y is plus or minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 x is equal to minus plus 4 because plus 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 and minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4. So we have that the values of x and y that satisfy these two equations simultaneously are x equal to plus root 2 minus root 2 minus 4 and plus 4 and y equal to plus 3 root 2 minus 3 root 2 plus 2 and minus 2 and with that we come to the end of today's exercise remember to subscribe if you enjoy such content leave us a thumbs up to support the channel thanks for watching and see you in the next one